everybody, how's it going? It's Raphael here. I want to show you guys a cool little thing that we've added into the 0.1.9 update, which is going to be released today. This video is being made on the 15th of January. Okay, so what we've added on this update is basically um, a lot more interaction with the player and first person mode with the apparatus. So, uh, for example, these, these two red switches now, if you click them, uh, you can see they're animated as well as they turn the truck on now. We've added these button and switches to every truck now, so it's through the whole fleet. Um, another cool thing is all of these light switches um, now um, can be used in our function. So the master switch, you know, that turns on all of the, the lights, which basically all the lights are by default turned on. But if we want to, we can turn off the warning upper lights, which are basically the light bars on the top and the rear light bars over here. So you'll see if we, if we turn those back on. Now they're back on. You can do this with each of these switches or you can turn off the lower the lower flashers which are these little lights that flash really fast. Pull it out a little more so you can see. You can also turn on you can turn off the headlight flashers, so those those wig wags that you see right here with the little headlight flashers. If I turn those off, you'll see they no longer flash, which we feel this is cool because it gives you more customization of your lights and how much you really want on at the time. So uh, you can also turn on or off these these uh, these orange lights on top as well as these real well lights these are the black uh, extensions right there so if I do that now with the well lights off you'll see they're no longer on and you can now do this on all of the trucks uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and show you another cool thing with the rescue for example you can still use the hotkeys for the engine on and off uh, it'll still affect the switches so the rescue out. So for example, if I want to only run the redirectional bar while I'm returning to the firehouse or whatever, I can do this. Just turn off one and upper, one and lower, and my flashers. Um, and there we go. So now I'm only running the, the indicators in the redirectional bar. You know, I, I don't have any uh, emergency lights on, but I can still turn on and off those lights. So I can go ahead, if we get a run, I can turn them all back on. And we're back to this. Alright, so I'm going to show you the older rigs and how they work. They're a little different setup. So I can turn on the truck. So here's our master switch. I turn on the master switch. Any switches, like I said before, that are on are controlled by the master switch. But I can always turn off the headlight flashers. You'll see they turn off. You'll see they. I can turn off the uppers, which is the rotators. You'll see they turn off the So the, the little flashers are still on. Those are the warning lower lights. I can turn those off. Now they're off. See the real low lights over there? So in the next update, I also want to add in a uh, key key bindings for these, so that you don't have to always go inside the truck to do it. But we feel like right now it's fine; you can do it from the truck. Um, for those who like that level of immersion or whatever. So we also uh, added a new fire and corresponding radio chatter to this update as well, so no more church fire. I'm sure you guys got enough of that. So each update we're planning to add like a new event to, for you guys to play around with until we get uh, the fire academy and the multiplayer and the new map updates out. But for now a lot of it is adding some final uh, details and touches to what we have done so far and bug fixing. Uh, 
around and making everything work smoothly. And um, we know our main, one of our main priorities is this traffic AI is to get it completely redone. And we're in the process of that. It's just going to take some time because the AI is going to be very complex since it's one of the main, um, the main, you know, things that the player is going to be interacting with. It needs to be pretty smart. But that's about it for this week's update. Go check out our Facebook and Twitter pages if you want to see some cool screenshots of the progress of the map and where we are with that. And we'll talk. We'll see you guys next Sunday with the new Fire Academy video. Um, it's going to be the lesson with the K-12 saws that are used to cut through roofs and uh, roll down doors and locks and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty cool. So I'll see you guys then, and enjoy 0.1.9 update, which is live.